Good evening, my absolutely spectacular community. I'm Steve, and you're watching Homeless with Steve Outdoors. <laughs> oh, it's funny, but it's true. So, ladies and gents, just a quick update. This is day 10 of our homeless um, adventure. So, the first thing I did this morning was take the missus to work. I drove her down to our local town where she works. Came back and straight away I did a bit of camp admin. Um, basically just pulled all the rugs from the tent, give it a good sweep, just making sure there were no sharp stones or any sharp debris that could cause um, damage to the flooring. After that was done, I then got on to New Charter, which is our local social housing organisation. And um, the plan is that every Wednesday, new properties go up to bid. That's how the system works here. To be allocated a home, you need to bid on the properties available. So um, I bid on three, and when I added them to the basket and then applied for all three properties, I got an email to say only one had been applied for, which was confusing. After I spoke to a lady, she was very polite. Um, she informed me I'd, I'd applied for one that was over 55s that I didn't see. <laughs> I'm not far off that though. Um, and I also applied for a two bedroom, which I'm not eligible for. So. Now I know I'm only eligible for one bedroom apartments for me and the missus um, and there was only one property that was eligible for me today. So I got that out of the way with. I also then asked if my letter had been received uh, from the emergency housing department to bump me up the uh, band. Um, still no news on that yet and when I asked her if she'd had any experience in the past of how long it was going to take you know, for people in the past to be homed in my situation, she started off by trying to give me false hope and I just said to her look um, just please tell me how it is you know I don't need smoke blowing up my rear end um, if you tell me you know the truth of it then I can prepare myself better for the next step so she basically said we are unindated with applications um, it's going to take a long time basically that's what she told me so we can now again better prepare ourselves for the next step and make our situation a little bit more comfortable we have got news on the caravan. As I mentioned yesterday, we have been very, very generously gifted a caravan, three birth caravan, um, or as you guys over in the States and Canada might call them campers. Um, so three birth and again, very, very generously donated by one of you fantastic people. So Tony, I've been in touch with today. We have got movement on that. Um, it is going to arrive next week. That is the only time he's got available and the only way you can have it moved to this site. So that's gonna happen a week today. Um, he's having it all cleaned uh, for us, ready for delivery, and he's also got us a gas bottle, um, so we should be ready to go within a week's time. That means we've got a week left in the tent. Um, it has pretty much become our home now, um, and it's, it's been a fantastic shelter. I think I've said it every time I've been on the camera, but yeah, fantastic tent, great shelter. So once we take delivery of the caravan and it does arrive at site, it's a simple matter of trading it for the tent. When we took the tent down, the caravan is going to go in its place because we've already paid the 28 days uh, upfront rent for this pitch. Um, after that tenant is up, the lovely Adele who runs the site is then going to move us around to the caravan pitch just at the side here. And that should give us a more stable home um, for the foreseeable future or until it takes um, the housing association to rehome us. But um, the wheels are moving, so that's great news. Now, whilst I peel some vegetables for tomorrow's tea like a hobo uh, I would just like to say once again that your messages of support coming through are absolutely immeasurable um, and they are really really helping to uplift mine and my partner's spirits and hopes but what amazes me is the amount of comments that have come through um, telling me that you know people have made a conscious decision to actually live like this and I absolutely hats off to you I mean again this is my style of living I would live like this tomorrow um, and when you've actually when you do experience homelessness it's like your whole world just unwinds it's it's a very strange feeling even though you know if you do possess you know skills to thrive outside everyone's used to like coming home from work turning on the tv making a brew and it's just the comforts of living um, but for the people i'm not going to risk that this is how we usually cut taters but nope 
<laughs> I'll be going straight through the hand and straight into infirmary because this knife is absolutely razor sharp. Check that little beauty. This is um, Josh's masterpiece from Feared Woods. This will be reviewed on the channel soon. Um, but yeah, I mean, Tony, Tony uh, who's donated the caravan, he chooses to live like this as well. So, I mean, this is definitely a lifestyle, a life choice. Um, and who knows, um, you know, if once we've experienced it, especially the missus, um, it's her, it's her mental health that is at the forefront of this uh, situation at the minute and that is my first priority but who's to say you know in a couple of months when we've been in the caravan she doesn't decide that this is the actual life for her because um, nature is a great reset it has a massive reset button um, and it is all healing I will say that waking up every day to grass under your feet the hills the sounds of wildlife I think it's where we all belong, to be honest. I really do. But for now, I'm just so glad. I'm ecstatic, to be honest, that you've all come together with your comments and support, and you basically show my missus that there is nothing to worry about. You know what I mean? We're not alone in our situation because we have people and friends like you who just won't let us fail. Absolutely stupendous. Now... Amongst the hundreds of positive comments we've had, you are obviously going to get uh, the trolls stopping by. You've got to take the rough with the smooth, as I say. And in all of them hundreds of comments, I'm surprised. I've only had around four negative comments. And these are just individuals that take any opportunity to feed on someone else's misery. We all know there's people like that out there. Unfortunately, the, the world is rife with these types of people. Um, the worst comment was... And it was held in the Health for Review um, file. I think you're full of. Um, so you get a tent sent for free and then spend and then pay £616 for rent on a campsite. Yeah, right. And I know a lot of you will have just jumped on this video. Uh, you won't have checked the content on the channel, but this channel is all about the outdoors, bushcraft, gear reviews, and things like that. So I can imagine. Me coming across telling you we got this tent sent for free. It was reviewed for a company and then um, we ran out of luck and our situation changed for the worse. Luckily we had the tent uh, to retreat to. But for someone who's just come on the channel and hasn't watched the rest of the content, um, you know, it's an easy assumption to make. Second one was um, because I've shown two bottles of um, liquor in the tent. It's saying you're homeless, but you can afford to buy liquor. Now, the food that was in the tent when I made the con when I made the video was actually brought from our previous home. And in fact, um, if you guys that follow the channel check the community tab, you'll see um, the two bottles that I've got in there were actually from holiday that we've just come back off. So again, someone just jumping on the bandwagon and assuming, um, obviously that. Uh, we're spending money we haven't got, which isn't true. Being very careful with this knife because it is absolutely razor sharp, like I've mentioned. One, two, three. But um, none of them matter when I've got hundreds and hundreds of positive comments. Um, again, a lot of comments are asking, they really want to support us and help uh, with our situation. I really do appreciate that. I did hold off, but I've had that many comments asking for a Just Giving app or a Buy Me A Coffee app. But, um, we have made one today and uh, the link for that is in the description if you do want to. Like I say, your comments and support are more than enough for me and the missus. But it is there if you want to use it. Can you see the concentration on my face? <laughs> I can really do with a chopping board. 
let's not get silly. This blade is really so sharp, ladies and gents. It's a AEBL steel. Um, literally razor sharp. Perfect food processing knife. Three mil stock and a curly ash handle. Very, very ergonomic. That is absolutely lovely to hold in the hand. Um, and it really does just fit that palm. You've got minimal contact with your fingers here onto your palm, but there's plenty of contact there. And um, I think that profile is very fitting for this type of knife. It's a Poco style blade, um, carving blade, food processing, things like that. But I think this is just going to be a great utilitarian camp knife. Like I say there will be a review coming to the channel with us soon. Did you get your tent up? Eventually. <laughs> You're struggling. If you need any help in future, just give us a shout. I didn't want to crowd because there was already a lad over there as well, so... That's all right, I appreciate it. No worries. It is broken. But, oh, are you um, kidding? Yeah, it, 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 both the poles broke in the wind. Oh, bloody hell. We got it some duct tape, so we've managed to duct tape one of them. Yeah. Duct tape's just like uh, the fix, you know what I mean? It's good as new now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it was a cheap tent from Mazda, but I just went to pull it together to pull down the zip and it just tore a massive hole down the side. So. Bloody hell. You'll find some nice places down there on Firth and uh, the res is anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for that. Thank Nobody's pop. Enjoy the rest of your stay. Sorry about that, ladies and gents. Got a bit sidetracked. Um, couple there. They've come up for the uh, from London, deep south, um, to see a few sites up here. Uh, they brought the tent on the field. Wind caught it. There was already a couple over there helping, so I didn't want to run over and like too many uh, chefs and all that. So, where was I, babe? Where was I? Did I mention a homeless? And we're living in a canvas tent. <laughs> right, so um, I'm not going to bore you with any more updates like this. I'm trying to keep this one short, but um, unless we're doing anything specific or we get any news, um, I will bring the updates to you. But I'll keep counting the days so you know how long we've been here. Um, fingers crossed, um, we'll hear something soon. That's all I can say. We're just holding out now. When that caravan comes, things will change definitely for the better then. But until then, the missus is in the tent. She's painting her nails, uh, keeping herself occupied. And we're going to have a rustic stew uh, for tea, which will get cooked up in a bit. So you all take care. Until the next one, you stay safe. And as always, stay crafty. Thank you very much for watching and all your awesome support once again. See you soon. Bye-bye. Oh, there was, sorry. There was one more. Just remembered. Um, there was one comment saying, just pay your rent and then there'll be no issues of homelessness. That's easily said, but what if someone was in a private rented house um, and the landlord decided to sell up because that is pretty much the state of housing these days. Not even the landlords can afford to keep um, their properties. So they are all selling up and the tenants are being made homeless for that reason. Is that any fault of theirs? No, it's not. So again, jumping on the bandwagon and assuming before you know the facts. But to the rest of you, have a great night and I'll see you again soon. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Babe, midges are out. Have you got a spray? There is one more thing. I do apologise. <laughs> there is one more thing, ladies and gents. I do apologise. So, all of the kindness and support you've shown me and my uh, partner. Um, I did mention yesterday in the video, there is a gent who was a member on the channel uh, called Living Levu. And again, he's been living in his Levu full time now with his partner um, on a bit of land for two years in Wales. Now, if you do watch the channel and follow me on Instagram, I recently bought, well I bought it maybe a year and a half ago now, the One Tigris North Gaze Canvas Hot Tent. Um, I bought that brand new, it hasn't been used, it is brand new and it's not something I'm going to use. I was going to review it but again if it's not something I'm going to use, um, I can't review it because I've not used it, simple. Um, I set it up on the park just for a quick look and it wasn't to my taste. It's not the fact it's incapable of doing what it's made for in any way. I like the colour. Um, it's got a nice feature where you can lift all the front and create a canopy. But it is weighty and it's not ideal for anyone that's going to be carrying the kit around to camp. It's not suitable at all. And that is not something I'm going to be using even if I'm car camping. Because I've got much bigger tents that are lighter and more room. But for someone who is um, predominantly on a piece of land who's staying about. This is a little bit bigger than a Levu. And I'm going to gift this onto Living Levu if you if you want it. That is, if you're watching this video. So uh, hit me up in the comments, uh, messages, and we'll arrange to get that sent over to you. 
So, hope that helps. Right, I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.